well, first of all, Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you spend great holidays. And um, I wanted to start these little videos because I meet a lot of people during the day and during um, the whole course of the year who uh, ask me what do I think about real estate and where is real estate headed. So uh, I'm going to do like uh, one minute, one minute and a half video to explain to you what I think. Uh, I don't have a crystal ball, of course, but uh, I'm going to at least uh, tell you uh, my opinion. Um, so where is real estate headed for 2016? Um, well, there are two ways to look at it. First, let's look at the pessimist way and then let's look at the uh, optimist um, issues. So first of all, uh, there has been, I'm going to be honest, there has been a slowdown in sales in 2015. So I guess this will continue also in 2016. Um, the inventory as well is starting to get higher for two reasons. Uh, one, uh, people want to cash out. Uh, they have bought at a certain price. And now, since prices are high, they want to cash out. So this increases the inventory. Uh, the second reason is that um, developers have built a lot of condos and they are slowly coming into the market. It already started in 2015, but it's continuing in 2016 and 2017. So that will increase the inventory of condos uh, in the Miami area. The third reason uh, is that the dollar is high. 70% um, even more of the buyers in Miami-Dade and even higher in Miami Beach are foreigners. So when you have a high dollar compared to the Canadian dollar, compared to the Brazilian real, compared to the Russian rublo, you are a little more cautious and you take more time uh, before investing and taking a decision to invest in Miami. Um, it doesn't mean that you're not going to do it, but uh, it could slow the demand in terms of uh, days on the market, uh, that the unit is on the market. Finally, uh, usually in real estate, we say that cycles are seven year cycles. Now it's been um, already almost five. So if we start in 2010, which is the beginning, uh, the end of the crisis. So we are in 2016 and maybe it's going to come to an end soon um, uh, this uh, real estate um, cycle that has going, been going upwards. Now on the positive side, uh, cash buyers have represented in the last five years 70% of all buyers, even higher in Miami Beach and in South Beach. So there will not be any incident like there has been in 2007, 2008. Uh, with the mortgage uh, issues. Um, second of all, home buyers are right now, uh, or condo buyers, have been in the last few years um, second home or third home. They are buying for their own pleasure, they are not buying as an investment and they have really, they don't have in their mind to sell the units. They want to enjoy Miami and they want to make the best out of it. The third element is that prices are up. Prices are continuing to go up. Uh, even if the volume of sales has gone down, prices, even in December, have gone up compared to last year. Um, finally, the, another great reason uh, is that the, we, we are seeing a new um, trend of buyers coming from Asia and coming from the Middle East. So Miami didn't know that type of, of buyers and, and that enhances the international aspect uh, of Miami. So to conclude, to make it brief, um, there will be, I think, a slowdown in 2016, uh, but uh, prices are going to continue, I think, to rise. And uh, however, it's going to be at a slower pace. 